All right, what's going on guys? Hutchins here, and today I'm going to be doing a soul and blood rune crafting guide. So first of all, starting off, as you can see here, uh, you need set level 77 to do blood runes and 90 to do soul runes. As you can also see, I'm standing here north of the Arceus library, which Arceus you need, I'll just go ahead and show you right here, you need 100% favor uh, in order to be able to do soul or blood rune crafting. Uh, which you get it here at the library. You might want to look up a separate guide for that if you do not have 100% because that is not what this guide will be about. It'll just be that getting the soul and blood rune set up and crafting them after the fact. So you do need to uh, do this mini game until you get 100% uh, favor for Arceus. So first of all what you're going to want to do is get there. So um, yeah I'm just going to start running up here and show you guys exactly how to get there. By the way, you will uh, want to have uh, whatever your setup is normally for runecrafting. Uh, I just do Graceful, uh, Fally Shield, and uh, Pickaxe. Any Pickaxe will do. Uh, you mine the stuff at the exact same rate as other uh, things. So, first of all, guys, I want to give you a little tip. You can come here to unlock the Fairy Ring. Uh, the code for this Fairy Ring is CIS. It'll give you a quick way to get here if you do not have the spellbook teleport uh, to the dark altar so you just talk to this guy give him 80k and he will unlock this fairy ring for you anyway so continuing on guys uh, I paused the clip for a second and came back and uh, as you can see here I have some stamina potions in my inventory now uh, you do need those if this is your first time here if I think if you're 85 plus agility and uh, have graceful then you don't need any uh, staminas for the rune crafting whatsoever I think that'll be sufficient enough but if you're starting out you will be doing a lot of running so I did bring a few doses of stamina potion so without further ado I will show you guys uh, how to get there to uh, the dark altar from here But yeah, anyways, you're going to just keep running down here, and I'm actually going to speed this up, and you guys can just watch where to go from here. Alright guys, so once you get it to this point, you're just going to want to click right here on these rocks. It can be hard to get used to at first to figure out exactly where to click, but anyway, you're basically just going to come down here at first you're going to go ahead and just mine three of these and that is all you need uh, this is what makes this so OP um, it's just the fact that you can stand here and just mine these and it's pretty much 75% AFK but yeah as you can see people are polite here but anyways yeah like I said you're just gonna get three of these and what I'm actually gonna do well I'm gonna go ahead and do the souls first so um, what you're basically going to do is come up here, back up where you came from. Now keep in mind guys, this is the first round. I'm just unlocking everything at this point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drink one of those. But before you can uh, craft these or use the chisel on them, you have to come venerate them at the dark altar and turn them into dark essence blocks. And what you're going to do is go ahead and chip one and if my memory serves me correctly, you come up here to get to the soul altar. I will also speed this up. Alright guys, so I'm now approaching the altar. You're probably wondering why I'm coming up here to craft just one of these. Uh, the reason being is in order to unlock it in the abyss, you do have to craft these at least once. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, as you can see here, it does give a lot of XP for so few rooms. But yeah, anyways, you now have the soul altar uh, or the ability to have the soul altar be unlocked in the abyss. And what you're going to do is chip off some more and we're going to go make bloods. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go half. I'm going to have to go and remine another block, but for now I'm going to go ahead and teleport down here. 
I'm going to speed this up as well, and when I get to the blood altar, uh, I will tell you what I'm doing. And as you can see, guys, to get to the blood altar, you do have to go the south route uh, once you get uh, right before you get to the dark, dark altar. Uh, you will be coming down here, and this is this one is actually closer to the Essence Mine, so thankfully I, it won't take me long to get there. But it's right over here, and you craft it just like you did with the Soul, um, and that's really all there is to do as far as that goes. You do have to venerate the block at the Dark Altar before you go and use it in the Abyss, but this is what you do for this. Alright, there's some Blood Runes. I'm just going to drop these. But yeah, anyways, the mods are pretty much uh, certain that they want to keep uh, this pretty much AFK from what I've seen. So I don't know if this will change. This is subject to change, though, because they have uh, expressed that they're considering remaking this to where it is a lot less AFK. So just keep that in mind. If... That if it's different from this guide whenever you get there, just keep in mind that there's a possibility that uh, it could be less AFK, and if there's anything different about it, that is probably why. So, yeah, you might have to keep clicking on something whenever you get there, so just remember that uh, for future reference. But anyways, as I said before, you got to come and venerate this again, and what you're going to do is make your way to the Abyss. So if you have your glory... Uh, Go ahead and teleport to Edgeville. Now there are a lot of PKers here, especially in 61, and if they know you're crafting bloods or souls, it makes you a target. So yeah, keep that in mind. I will let you know whenever I get to the Abyss, or well, whenever I get to uh, the soul portal in the Abyss. Of course, guys, it does matter if uh, your agility and thieving is high, or thieving, agility and mining is high because it will help you get through those obstacles quicker. Okay, so if you're here at the Blood Altar and this is what you want to make, then you're going to just use the essence here on the rift, and that will then unlock it. See, as you can see here, the rift is already connected, blah, blah, blah. All right, then if you want to make souls, it is over here. And I'll just show you, just for the sake of presentation, uh, that this is what you do here as well. You use it on that, and then you can then access it. So what you're going to do is just go through here and uh, use it on the soul altar. You'll just run back down here and make your way uh, back to the original uh, spot. And I'll show you the agility course to be able to get through here and to make your way back down to the S mine. And once I do that, I will do one full run and just uh, show you an example of what you'll be doing and the most efficient way to do it. Now keep in mind that uh, I will be using my chisel on uh, these essence blocks, uh, you know, in rapid succession. If you want to use a dart making script in HK for that, uh, I would definitely suggest that. But if you don't want to, then you can easily craft them into little chips before you get back here. Alright, so anyways guys, as I mentioned, I'm going to do a full run of this and show you exactly what to do. I might leave in text or annotation what there is to do if I don't find that it's pretty much self-explanatory uh, how exactly to do the run. I do have one charge in my glory, so I will show myself uh, banking that uh, after uh, I teleport to Edgeville and re-getting another glory just... Uh, to make sure all my bases are covered but yeah anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this guide and it helped you out a lot if you did uh please help me out by giving me a thumbs up and comment what you uh, think i should do differently but yeah anyways guys uh enjoy uh afk soul room crafting